Hi, I'm Dr. Joe Sucre with the Arizona Trauma Association, and this is Trauma in a Flash. Focus assessment with sonography for trauma, also known by its acronym FAST, is a widely used tool for the rapid evaluation of patients with blunt and penetrating trauma. The two commonly utilized probes are the curvilinear low frequency probe, sometimes called the abdominal probe, and the low footprint phase array probe, sometimes referred to as a cardiac probe. In this video, we'll utilize the cardiac probe. The right upper quadrant is viewed with the probe placed to the low right costophrenic margin and oriented vertically with the marker pointed superior. The examiner should dynamically view the diaphragm, liver, and right kidney. The diaphragm appears as a bright stripe that should interface directly against the liver. Any dark space between the diaphragm and the liver is evidence of blood. Additionally, there should be a bright interface between the liver and the right kidney. Although in obese patients, there may be fatty tissue in this area, and oftentimes this appears as a gray area between the liver and the kidney, but any dark space in this area should be considered blood. The left upper quadrant is viewed with a similar technique. The probe is placed more posterior along the left costophrenic margin, oriented vertically with the probe marker pointing superior. The examiner should view the diaphragm, the spleen, and the left kidney. Again, the diaphragm appears as a bright stripe that should interface directly against the spleen. The area between the spleen and the left kidney often has a gray fatty interface. Any dark space between these structures is evidence of blood. The pelvic space is viewed with the probe just above the pubis, oriented horizontally with the probe marker pointed towards the right. The bladder provides an excellent acoustic window when it's full. The probe is then maneuvered in a sweeping angle through the pelvis, evaluating posterior to the bladder in the dependent space. Any dark area posterior to the bladder is indicative of blood. The pericardial space can be viewed from two different positions depending on the patient's particular anatomy. The subxiphoid window is obtained with the probe just below the level of the xiphoid, oriented in a horizontal position, aimed superior and slightly left towards the heart. The left lobe of the liver is seen in this view along with the right side of the heart. The border of the heart should be seen against the bright stripe of the pericardium. In obese patients, there may be pericardial fat seen in the anterior between the heart and the pericardium. This can be easily mistaken for fluid due to the poor echogenic properties of fat in this location. However, blood should pool dependently and therefore should be visible completely around the heart, not just the anterior aspect. A second window that can provide a more complete view of the heart is a left parasternal view. The probe is positioned just lateral to the left border of the sternum at or below the level of the nipple. It should be oriented in a slight oblique angle with the probe marker pointing toward the right shoulder. The EFAS extends the exam to the chest, evaluating for pneumothorax. This can be accomplished using the vascular linear array probe. This is placed in a vertical orientation with the marker pointed superior. Position the probe along the mid-clavicular line in the third, fourth, or fifth intercostal space maneuvering between two ribs. In B mode, there should be a bright stripe that appears to be sliding. This is a visceral lung pleura sliding against the parietal pleura. The lack of sliding is consistent with a pneumothorax. In M mode, there should be horizontal bands at the top of the screen that appear like waves, with a sharp transition at the level of the pleural interface to a finely granular character that appears like sand. Lack of transition with only straight bands is consistent with a pneumothorax. Finally, in my experience, the clinician should perform hundreds of evaluations to become proficient and fast and e-fast, allowing them to quickly distinguish normal from abnormal. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Trauma in a Flash. <laughs>